Sorry you caught me drinking some coffee. Because every good editing session starts with a good cup of coffee. Over the years I've got lots of messages uh, in my in email through email and through messaging and, and whatnot one of my number one questions was how do I make the little maps that show where my truck is and how the movement is across the screen I'm actually going to show that to you right now so that the messages will stop asking that question you can ask other questions but uh, you won't have to ask that question anymore because I'm going to show you right now, right in front of us. By the way, I should say I'm not an expert at Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm just an average editor when it comes to professional editors. So I'm just going to show you basic stuff because really that's all I know is basic stuff. I'm not a qualified expert uh, Adobe Premiere editor that can show you everything about it. So that's the software program we're using and let's get right to it. On my screen here you see this is all familiar to you. We're going to use three clips. One, two, three, actually four including the music. The first one is some b-roll which is right here just me driving down the freeway. The second one is just a dead map file, a JPG file of a map of me going from Calhoun, Georgia up to Nashville and a line drawn on the freeway. That's all that is. The third clip is what we're going to cut to. Some more B-roll footage of me driving and then a music clip is just music. First thing we want to do is cut the uh, we want to cut the audio off of these and we're unlinking that audio right there. Delete. Delete because we don't need the original audio that's on there. It's just boring truck sound. We're going to have music underneath this. So Let's marry these two clips together just by sliding that together like that. And we don't need too long of this. So let's see how that looks. Blah, 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 blah. Nice and short. Now, let's get to the map part. That's the uh, part that yearly everyone asks me about. When I first go into a map, I want the audience to see a master shot of the map. I'm just using this slider bar down below to make the editing area that I'm using bigger. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on that. Did you notice it brought up the map up here? This is where all the keying comes in and that's what the, we're going to use. It's called keying. So let's go up here to effects control. This is our map shot. So I'm going to, I want the audience when they first see the shot, I'm going to mark it in this area. This is where the camera's seeing, right where that blue line is. I'm going to mark it there and there because I want, boom, the audience to see that. What do I want the audience to see next? I want this, them to see a close-up of where I'm picking up from. So I notice I move the cursor right there a little bit ahead. So now we're going to use this scaling button and we're going to notice how it's moving. We're going to go way close up and move it down, over, and down because this is what I want the audience to see next where we're starting out from, Calhoun right there. See those two marks there? 
the mapping software or correction Adobe has automatically marked that as to the next shot that I want the audience to see so let's watch that let's see if I'm happy with that let's go back to this b-roll let's hit play and let's see what we have so far see there it pans in to where we're starting from now the tricky part is the following the truck along on the map let's all take a drink of coffee you can have a bite of sandwich or whatever you're eating now what do I want the audience to see I want them to follow along with my truck so the next shot let's move this forward I want to scale I'm gonna keep the scaling the same and scaling is the size of the picture so let's keep it at that and we're gonna go up some over and up some and over and you're thinking isn't it gonna be awfully jerky no it'll smoothen it out is smoothen a word smoothen come on you uh, dictionary people is smoothen a word so this is what I want them to see right there that's the last shot that I want them to see so we're going from here see that we're going from there up to there and actually I think we're going to end it there but let's watch that whole sequence that we did from our b-roll to our establishing shot we zoom in to Calhoun now we want to follow the truck up the 24 the 75 to the 24 all the way up to Nashville and you might have recently seen this on my trucking channel this is very similar to what I did there so we will end the shot right there let's actually zoom this or uh, get rid of that I don't need that let's make sure it stops yeah and it stopped and then now let's make this a little wider now we'll put our other b-roll on the end and let's see what it looks like all right cool I wasn't going to get into this but notice how this shot is uneven that's because the camera's crooked dumb cameraman I'm gonna fix that just by going up to rotation and making it even and then we'll zoom in just a little bit there there we go now it's even on both sides my coworker always says I'm too much of a, a stickler on detail but I want it to look good so now you say well that's a pretty boring shot yes it's boring until what we put the music in this music is right from YouTube one of the another question that I get over and over and over and over where do I get my music it's from the create section of YouTube and it's free copyrights are free and everything let's actually do one more thing before we add the music I don't like how it's a quick cut to <laughs> I want there to be a transition there and I have a default transition set so that it will do what's called dissolve it will dissolve from one scene to another let's watch that did you see that and let's do the same here dissolve from one scene to another yeah 
That means it overlaps the two sections of film. So you see a little bit of both frames. We'll do another show about that. By the way, if you like these editing videos, let me know. I'll do more, but for the most part, I think people don't really like to see all this. But if you do, let me know and I'll do more. All right, let's put the music on in and let's see what it sounds like here on how to edit a simple map. Let's watch it now and see how it turned out. the end that's how we did it uh, actually that last shot should have been Nashville since I ended up there but <laughs> you understood the what I was saying and thank you for watching this short video on how to edit a simple clip and how to uh, and animate a map which is what we did we animated a graphic it's as simple as that thanks for watching I'm Indiana Jack life is a journey